Religion is important for me because it kind of dictates how I live my lifestyle. I think without religion, there'd be a lot of pressure on my community and like family to kind of model how I live my life. And I feel like that would be unfair for them. So, you know, having religion, having the holy scriptures and God is really important for me. Personally, I think more important than the religion itself is the faith community because when there are a group of people who have for a long, long time followed those central rules and those tenets and have formed strong communities that support each other because of it as a basis, however much or however little you might follow that religion, the faith community, hopefully, whatever the faith is, is always there to support you. And I think that's why it's really important. When you have rules, do's and don'ts, I feel like it plays more into a society which is um, functional, and progressive and um, and just better for the society at large because if there was no laws if there's no rules there'd be, there'd be lawlessness Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki One of the five pillars of Islam is prayer and worship and for me what the, what the five daily prayers or five daily acts of worship brings to me is a sense of peace and tranquility and allows me to channel my energy and my thoughts or my own actions and how I can better myself as an individual. And in the dome of, of Britain's largest mosque, there is part of a verse. And the translation of that verse is surely through the remembrance of God, hearts find peace. I do find that peace when I turn to God and I pray because I'm able to connect with my, with my maker. So being a Muslim and following Islam has allowed me to become a better person. Because Islam and the Holy Quran itself is a code of conduct and a way of life which people don't want to follow sometimes. People don't want to feel restricted. But actually, the rules don't restrict you. They enable you to become better. You can be someone of, from a different faith and still be a good person. And in fact, the Holy Quran says, for you, your religion, and for me, my religion. I feel a connection with people from other faiths and people who are not even of faith. I think one of the most important things to remember is that we all bleed red. And we have more in common than not. So all prophets of God who came to this earth with teachings all taught the importance of respect, tolerance, understanding and the freedom of religion. One of my favourite teachings within Islam is when Muslims are told that you can't fulfil God's rights until you fulfil the rights of his people. And that sums up, for me, what a Muslim should be like. And it doesn't say just look after Muslims. It says look after those individuals who are around you. <laughs> my community has become my family. And sometimes my community takes priority of my family. So as a faith leader, wherever the community needs me, I'll go. I would love to grow my faith in a way that allows me to refine my behaviour trying to better myself as an individual. And that is the true jihad, the self-struggle to become better. So I think the beauty of having a community based around the faith is you're all striving for the same thing. Yeah. And what that allows you to do is if someone's finding it hard or they're struggling with one certain aspect of their faith, you've got the community to lean into yeah. and you're stronger together. So I feel like faith and community go hand in hand. And even when it comes down to mental health and needing someone to talk to through your troubled times. Mm. You've got someone there who's on the same journey? For Judaism, it's not just a religion, it's an ethno-religion. So there's the ethnic group of Jewish people and the faith that they follow, because 
over, over thousands of years that has formed and the belief systems have developed and festivals have come out of the, the hardships and the events that they faced as a people. And I think that that's something that's unique probably to all faiths more so than generic communities. You could bump into anyone that's part of your religious community and just having the same principles as a start just builds so much in common even if you don't have the same culture or the same way of living but the like principles to which you're both working towards as you said like it's a journey people are on different parts and we sort of like pick each other up and push each other forward. When I decided to become a Christian, like give my life to Christ, that was like the beginning of a relationship. I'm developing a relationship with something I can't see, but like I very strongly believe in. Remembering that like, you know, there's no perfect life. There's no like promise that I'll have finances easy, relationships easy, careers easy, but God will never leave me. That's kind of a very reassuring factor. My human nature is probably against everything the Bible would say like, Keep yourself before marriage, don't lie, don't steal, you know, love people before yourself, all the things that are not easy to do. But in order for me to please God, I have to like work towards doing that. And then remember that he is graceful and that even if I don't live up to that standard perfectly, he still loves me. When I am down and oh my soul so weary when troubles come. And my heart burns in me Then I am still And wait here in the silence Until you come And sit a while with me I pray because sometimes I don't want to speak to my friends I don't speak to my family So it's like you know, let me go to God with it first. Prayer can show me what my heart's desire is and like what I want for myself. Um, it's kind of like journaling, but out loud. As Christians, we believe that like the Holy Spirit will like guide and lead us and comfort us. So we are aware that there will be dark moments, there will be hard times, there will be times we doubt ourselves, we doubt our faith, we think we're not good enough and we do condemn ourselves, but we are instructed not to do that. You are God's masterpiece, created and fashioned to do the works that he's prepared for you. I feel like one of the biggest issues with religion is the lack of understanding. Like people just believe, you know, you know, if this is what I believe, everything else is an absolutely stupid idea. Like, you know, it can't be considered, it can't be heard. Um, but I have very close friends who are Muslim, who are Hindu, and hearing their perception of their faith I find quite interesting um, and I think it's important to show that you know I'm not disregarding what you believe I just believe something different. Respect is a massive part of Islamic teachings mm. to the extent that there's a verse in the Holy Quran that says for you your religion and for me my religion mm. and there's no compulsion in religion so a Muslim doesn't have a right to say you must believe in this or this is the only way forward because we're actually told by God Almighty that everyone can choose what they want to do mm. and that in its core principle is respect and allowing people to believe and follow faith how they wish to do so respecting other people's views and practices oftentimes you see that doesn't happen like people just believe no like if you believe something different to me you need to get out of my face which is obviously completely wrong um, and if anything is what actually brings destruction in society it's people kind of pushing each other apart rather than wanting to understand each other and be respectful of each other's views yeah, and I think respect and, in a, in a faith concept at least, I think respect and judgment are, are the opposite of each mm -hmm. other. And I think definitely in, in the Jewish faith, but I think in all the Abrahamic faiths, we're taught that God is the only person who, can, well, the only, the only being that can judge. And, and it's, it's between yourself and God how you'll be perceived on, on judgment day. But for you to judge other people, is that a good use of your time? When the alternative is that you can respect the differences and enjoy the similarities and, and live side by side with that central tenet of, of respect. 
I'd say that my journey to faith has been one through community. My, my grandfather was incredibly religious. He made sure I attended synagogue and I went to, to Cheda to learn Hebrew and that I had a bar mitzvah. And I think he did that so that I would have the choice to follow the faith as much as I wanted to. But certainly in my later teenage years, I think I made a more conscious decision because of the community that I was able to tap into. Through that, I think I really found a, a purpose in communal prayer and festivities. Whenever I have felt distress in the sense that there is uh, rising anti-Semitism or, or hatred, it makes me want to go to, to synagogue because I know that I'll be in my community uh, praying with them and, if anything, sharing that fear and sharing that vulnerability in a very safe space. Jewish religion has a, a, a teaching within it in, in, in Hebrew, which is tikkun olam, which means to heal the world. So we're taught via God, through scripture, to do everything that we can to make the world a better place. The world probably lacks understanding because we don't spend enough time sitting down with people who may not agree with us. Then surely the best thing to do is to have a conversation with them and, and, work, and work that out and find out what is it that you can come to an agreement on and what is it that you will have a differing point of view on, but probably find out that your, your roots or the source that you're seeking to achieve is very much one and the same. It probably is peace, it probably is justice. I don't think I've ever doubted the peaceful intentions of any religion, not, not my own or anybody else's, because every single belief system are built on the golden thread. You know, do unto others as you, as you wish them to do to you, treat others with respect, seek a sense of harmony and peace between different peoples. I, I truly believe the vast majority of all religious people are religious for good reasons and act upon their faith for good reasons. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom alaikum. Hey. <laughs>